Whoa, what's this? What is this video? It is, you know, combining animals part three. It's another drawing video? What the heck? So I did not stop getting requests for part three. So I was like, you know, I gotta bring it back. But I kind of felt like I gotta give him an extra like spice, I guess. Hence this. Listen guys, I am very self-conscious. This is, you have to understand that this is very hard for me, which is why I'm using this human meat suit instead of showing my real cat face. I don't know, I mean, there's just... Most people are humans on YouTube, and I, I just, I just want to fit in, you know? But, but don't worry, it was obtained by humane means. I found it on the side of the road, you know, um, no one was using it. Like, I, I know it's hard, I know it looks a little- it looks a little bit weird, but, you know, just understand that if I were to come out and show you my true face, that would be a catastrophe. <laughs> so yeah, you know the rules by now. We got 171 animals in this wonderful Google Doc, and then we have a num random number generator. We put 1, 171, and then we press generate and we get a number and then that's our animal. So, seeing as this is the part three, this is the, the, the trilogy of the, the movie, you gotta, you gotta introduce a gimmick to keep the audience interested. So this time we've got, instead of two animals, it's three animals. So first animal is troll F on the keyboard 35. It's a centipede. Okay, next one is 73. 73 is a guinea pig. And finally, 80. A horse. Okay, sure. Okay. So, I think the number one rule when you're combining something with a centipede is that you have to take the million legs of the centipede. That's the unwritten rule, okay? Because otherwise it wouldn't look horrifying enough, you know? You get me? Okay. So I think it's important that we that we use the horse's head because that's not going to look terrifying and we need a long body. So um originally I was going to just stick some centipede legs on this and call it a day, but I think we can do better. You know what I mean? A lot of people when they are not familiar with my channel and they just like click on my videos from the recommended they they t sometimes get kind of upset that instead of drawing something actually good i just do this <laughs> but you know when i when i first recorded the um drawing things that i did as a kid like making them better video I started by doing stuff that like tried to look good and I made like um you know the first character was like this edgy cat OC that I made and in the in the redraw in the first take I made it like this really edgy like um mummy cat type thing and it looked cool but you know what the commentary was freaking boring. In that, I, 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 like, I was just drawing the thing and I was just silent throughout the whole thing. I didn't, I don't know what to say. I mean, I mean, a, a picture like this says a thousand words, you know, content. But I don't know, you, you don't, you know, you don't have to take art seriously, like, all the time, you know. You can have some fun with it. You can use your skills to create extremely stupid things. Just freaking have fun with it, you know? So I was thinking of giving him hair, but I have a better idea. Yes. That's nightmare fuel if I've ever seen it. 
Would you guys be mad if I made this my new OC? Like, in instead of Chip the Cat, I'm Chip the... Destroyer of Worlds. Um... So this is, uh... Ham Horsepeed. Destroyer of Worlds. Master Pickup Artist. Yeah. I'd put this in an art museum. Well, I'd say that was a success, don't you? Um... On to the next one, I guess. 141 is a sawfish. Wowee. I wonder which part of the sawfish I'm gonna use it when I combine it with other animals. 94 is a llama. And 170. A worm. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna have to think about this one. I already have a feeling that this is gonna be the worst one out of all of them. I definitely want the worm's body. I mean... What else? What else would I take from the worm? It kinda looks more like a snake right now. <laughs> the logical conclusion... Would be the llama's head. Don't you agree? Except... It has a, a sore on its face. I don't know about you, but I think that looks pretty good. I mean, did you even know that sawfish were a thing? Because I didn't. I, I literally never heard of them until I made this list. I was like, oh, there's a fish that literally has a sore on its face. Don't. Don't make fun of me, there's literally people who don't think narwhals are real. Which is pretty understandable. Cause... Unicorns don't exist. Yet sea unicorns do. Absolute insanity, to be honest. I don't know who invented all these disgusting animals, but... I'm so disappointed. Um... So I think it's, um necessary right now to always give them a weird eye but this is this is going well so why do worms have this orange part on the end of the tail it's not poo is it hope not so this is uh, a saw lava worm it's just it's a Pokemon. It's just straight up a Pokemon. Nintendo hire me. I swear I've made a I swear I've made a Pokemon joke in like every single one of these. But yeah. Pretty proud of this guy to be honest. I don't know how this thing eats. I don't know if it would live in the sea or the land. How I don't know how this thing would exist. But there you go. 25. That's not 25. This is 25. A blackbird. That's freaking boring, but we'll make it work. 96. A lynx. 149. And a slug. When I got slug, I was like, yes. I thought this was gonna be a really boring one. You all thought. Oh, they're finally gonna make a normal animal combination for once. Just frickin' watch me. So, how can we make this as weird and stupid as possible? The natural, logical conclusion is to use the blackbird's body. Actually, you know what's better than just taking the body from another animal? Taking two bodies from two different animals and combining them together. There we go. Why does it have wings? How would it fly? I don't know, but this is gonna be one beautiful creature. I've never been so proud of anything I've drawn in my entire life. Oh, I almost forgot. You just can't draw one of these things without putting antennas on it. Actually, these are like, for the slug, these are like, these are the eyes. Sun? And there we have it. 
log bird. Log bird. I dub the log bird. So, uh, if this isn't proof that I am God, I don't know what is. Okay, how about another one? 74. Hamster. I mean, we've already had a guinea pig, but I feel like we can do something with this. Uh, 60. Ferret. We're getting a lot of long boys today. And 46. A crab. Okay. So, uh, we've been making some pretty weird things so far. So how about we make something kind of cute this time? We need some- we need some cuteness in this video. Just an ultra cute little half hamster, half ferret with little sparkly eyes. And now we make it even cuter. Just prepare yourself for this. You, I don't think you're gonna be able to handle it, okay? There we go. How... How adorable. How adorable is that? Oh my goodness. See, this is, this is what the world needs. More of this. Kittens and puppies ain't got nothing on this. I feel like he doesn't have enough fe fe ferret in him, so we'll give him a ferret tail just for good measure. Look at this precious child. Are you telling me that you wouldn't want this to be a real animal? So, um, this is. I guess let's call it. Graham's ferret. Perfect. Okay, I think we have time for one more. 103. A mole. 140. Salamander. And finally. A moose. Starting is always the hardest. <laughs> the hardest part. They all have pretty similar body shapes in terms of having four legs so I guess we can't really make any weird worm creatures anymore that's a shame um you know when you're in this situation the best thing to do is just draw let's see what happens probably something terrible it looks like a sassy eyebrow <laughs> I'm trying to combine the salamander and mole faces. It's not going too well, but hey, that's half the fun of the challenge. But yeah, we should definitely have have the antlers, I think. You can't just combine something with a moose and not use the antlers. Okay, now it just kind of looks like a serious moose. <laughs> like, <clears throat> I hate Christmas. Oh wait, reindeer are the Christmas animal, aren't they? Then, I hate Canadians. Let's bring in more salamander because I know that's not going to be the worst idea ever. And I, I'm pretty sure that salamanders have like long tongues, kind of like a snake. But if I'm wrong, freaking chill. Okay, I'm an artiste, as you can clearly see, so I can do what I want. Okay, freaking chill. This dude's gonna have a snake tongue, so just deal with it. I kind of like how the salamander's back legs stick out like that, so I'm gonna steal that. And make something even more horrifying than if I would just use the mole's feet. Because that's how I roll. And that's how I ruin people's hopes and dreams. Molusander. Molusander. I don't know about you guys, but I think that was a good use of two hours. 
So I think I've lost a few too many brain cells, so I think this is a good time to end. I do hope you enjoyed this brand new edition of Draw Combining Animals. If you do enjoy it, please consider leaving a like on the video, that way I know if I should make more of these or not, you know. And I just want to give a big th big shout out to my patrons over on patreon.com slash chipflake. I don't like to promote my Patreon too much, because I don't want to seem like I'm begging. But I do want to say that we recently opened our new exclusive Discord server, and it's pretty fun, we've got a nice little community going on over there, so um, yeah. Big thank you to them, big thank you to you for watching. So yeah, thank you for watching and have a great day.